since there are multiple subgenres, and considering everyone's taste in racing games is going to be different, rather than restrict the games to a niche category, we're instead going to include all forms of racing games. Although we will, however, be restricting the list to one game per franchise to prevent stacking. That's awesome. Racing's not about winning, it's about making friends. <laughs> Shut up, Pinky. Number 10, Daytona USA. Kicking off our list is the granddaddy of arcade racers. And they're on the way. With driving simple enough for anyone to master, force feedback steering wheels, and linking cabinets allowing up to eight players, it became an arcade mainstay for years. This was the game you always played with your friends when you had time to kill at the bowling alley or before seeing a movie. Number 9, F-Zero GX. This was the first collaboration between Sega and Nintendo following their bitter rivalry of the 1990s. With a futuristic setting, up to 30 racers could compete at the same time, clocking speeds of up to 1600 kilometers per hour. It would have been an even better thrill if we could experience this in HD in the near future. Hint hint nudge nudge. Number eight, race driver, Grid. Known just as Grid in North America, this racing game branded a heavy focus on career racing more than any other. Starting off as a freelance racer, you build up your cash, earn sponsorship deals, and manage a full racing group to ensure you've got the best team behind you. Grid was notable for finding a nice balance between authentic and arcade. I think a driver is spun out. It's Maya Suki Yamaguchi. Number seven, SSX Tricky. Surprised? This is gonna be very, very interesting. Well, no one ever said you needed wheels to be a racing game. The SSX series is not only a prime example of this, but Tricky also set new standards for the genre. The central gameplay spin here was that you incorporated tricks to build up a boost meter, all set to the beat of Run DMC's, you guessed it, Tricky. Along with a rivalry system that determines the enemy AI's attitude towards you and multiple routes down the mountain, all makes SSS Tricky the perfect, environmentally friendly racer. Yeah, I deserved it! Number 6, Need for Speed Underground 2. While the more recent Hot Pursuit game is also fantastic, we're giving the nod to the game that made you feel like a true street racer. Released at the height of street racing popularity brought on by the Fast and Furious films, Underground 2 expanded on the original by letting players drive around an open world city at their leisure. Of course, one of the game's biggest draws was the large variety of car customization, meaning your cars really did feel like your cars. Whatever you like, you can find it, if you know where to look. Number 5, Forza Motorsport 4. For the authentic car lovers out there, this is truly the ideal choice, featuring over 500 real-life cars across 26 different tracks. There's plenty of things to do in this game, from besting times on the leaderboards, ogling the beautiful cars while listening to Top Gear's Jeremy Clarkson, to be replaced by a 7-speed double-clutch flappy paddle system that should make changes as silky as Pierce Brosnan's underpants. Or, if simulation isn't your thing, using your car as a bowling ball. Number 4. Sonic and All-Star Racing Transform One of the biggest surprises of 2012 came with the appropriately subtitled Transform. This game wasn't just another Mario Kart clone, but instead set new standards for the kart racing subgenre. Notably, the tracks dynamically change each lap. So first lap, you're drifting around a bridge, and the next, a serpent blows up said bridge, meaning you have to change to a plane and take the canyon on your final lap. Other racing games can definitely learn from this sort of dynamic gameplay. First place, awesome! Number three, Burnout Paradise. Now, here's a game for those people who like to go to NASCAR just to see the crashes. You know who you are. This open world speed demon is best enjoyed when just goofing around, building up enough speed on the public roads, and enjoying the pure thrill of crash physics in motion. Oh, and there are races too, where you can, of course, cause your friends to crash. Number two, Mario Kart 7. To not have Mario Kart on a racing list would be a crime against gaming. While the N64 version is legendary for its local multiplayer, we're giving the nod to the more recent 3DS entry, as it allows 8 players locally and online, along with custom Grand Prix and Ghost Data exchanges via StreetPass. 